What's that thing on there? Something Bluetooth. Blue tooth. The house meter all sat around the blaze. There is one missing seat for one of the evicted housemates. One minute after joining the rest of the housemates, Alberta decides to call it a night and goes to bed. It's been another long day. The housemates are by and large on their way to bed. Of me. <laughs> Unfortunately, one of the water beds hasn't been filled with fresh water. Also, the beds haven't been made. Alberta is not best pleased when she discovers this. The fire has not been put out. 3.30 a.m. Alberta is sleepwalking. She is going into Sue Ellen's bedroom. She has brought water to put out the fire. Day 7, the housemates are relaxing on the beach because they completed last night's task. Later they will also be rewarded by going to a restaurant. Unfortunately they're about to get too physical with the surrounding stones. Day 7 of the real house. All the housemates the final lineup are at a restaurant. The restaurant is located nearly half a mile away across the town of Linton. The housemates are inside the restaurant. <laughs> As a reward for completing the previous day's tasks, the housemates have been awarded a meal in a restaurant, and now they've all arrived. <laughs> the housemate finds that he has to eat through the rice to get to his curry. Thank you. Anyone else for water? No thanks, Kate. One day we came out. Where is Linton? The housemates have now filled themselves completely and also completed their meals. Second job, you know. Now they're on for the second course, the bill going to Endemol. The housemates are undecided about what they want for dessert. One of them has gone for mince pies, even though it's nowhere near Christmas. The shopping season starts next week, September the 17th. Sue Ellen and Alberta return from the water convenience, while Cosmo goes to investigate what they were doing. Cosmo has returned from the toilet, with less urine than he had before. <laughs> Wise words there from okay. Joseph. Cheers. One of the final four. The housemates are in big trouble with the production company for running up a bill. <laughs> that competes even with the size of the Eiffel Tower. The housemates, all completely full up from their meal, are about to make their way back to the house to find out which one of them will win it. The others will be cast aside. This is Real House, we're live in the restaurant that served the Real House housemates. Um, yes. And um, how do you think they behaved tonight? Was, uh, yeah, you, you are very nice guys and uh, actually we are quiet today but um, 
Yeah, I think we are doing well. That's why we're, our reputation is very good here. Now, when you so, pre presented them with the bill, mm -hmm. um, did they stay? Did they stay in the restaurants, or did they run out the door? Oh no, no, no! They are very, very <laughs> nicely. They presented very nicely. Uh, I am happy for that. <laughs> <laughs> but they're no very nice guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So we approach the end of the Real House series with only several housemates left. Joseph, Alberta, and Cosmo. Only one of these can win. And what it is they'll win is this grand piano. Along with the rest of the house to go with it. Right, we're we're here at the end of the Real House series. We're down to just three housemates. They can vote each other off. However, the results, of course, have so far been secret. But we already know the, who the winner of this house is going to be. Right now, though, two of these people are going to be leaving with the help of our camera crew, who are, of course, backed up by security guys. Now, we have Joseph. Well, he drinks a lot of alcohol. He wants to win this house to open up a brewery. We have Alberta from the southern states. He wants to simply live in it. And then there's Cosmo, who wants to write music. With the help of the grand piano, which of course he will win if he was to win this series. Alberta was eventually crowned the winner of the real house. Unfortunately, as she was wearing a McDonald's Sucks t-shirt, McDonald's got a court injunction to prevent us showing the footage. And even worse than that, the production staff got the telephone results wrong, and we proclaimed Cosmo the winner. We then had to break the news gently to Alberta that she hadn't won after all. It caused chaos in the house. Alberta is runner-up, but of course she wins absolutely nothing. To quote Anne Robinson, she is the weakest link. Goodbye. Goodbye. That means, Cosmo, congratulations. No, I want to leave the house. Sorry, we've just had to drop live coverage of Real House. It's been revealed that one of the telephone operatives has been colluding with Cosmo to throw the vote. Fix! Fix! <laughs> I want to fix! Leave. I want to fix. leave the house. I, I, they haven't defined... He paid you! I, he paid you money! I want you to are the winner of Real House 2000. We hope you've enjoyed this series of Real House. We end now on some shocking footage of the bribe taking place between Cosmo and the telephone operative, who's now been sacked with pay. All right. Okay, that's what we agreed, yeah? yeah Absolutely, yeah, you're a great winner. Um, uh, you do realise you're not getting the house. It's all right, it's okay. Yeah, and okay, uh, but you can have... Um, National Trust card, yeah? The card, yeah, yes, yeah, so thanks very much. And, yes. uh, You've been a great sport. Okay, that one. Couldn't afford to give this house away. <laughs> well, yeah, what they expect this to be. Uh. And now for a final update on all the contestants who have taken part in the series. Paul Johnson and his son, the anonymous camera killer, were kicked off the show in only the third day for making contact with the outside world. They went outside of the real house without our express permission to open the boot of their car. Sue Ellen Jones came forth. Unfortunately, she suffers from sleepwalking and so left the house in her sleep at 4 a.m. last night. Joseph was found a few minutes ago to have bits of paper addressed to the Daily Mail by our 10 strong team of security guards, who quite literally booted him out. Cosmo was runner up. However, because of the bribery allegations, he will now not be getting at the grand piano. Alberta won the real house. She will move in tomorrow. She has already approached the estate agents of Linton about selling the house, as it would be impractical, as all her friends and family live in Alabama. That's it for this series. Goodbye.